I fell in love with Guevara's the first time I ever went, but since then the place has only grown and truly transformed. On top of the coffee bar, they now have a cocktail station and the back has been converted to a beautiful seating area. My friend Zabs and I got food here after a long morning of shooting and the food was just what we needed. It was my first time having a concha, and as you can tell, <laughs> Zabs was really impressed by the cocktails. I need to come back here more often. This video didn't have audio, so here I am giving you audio. I went to Raiz, it's this new-ish Mexican spot, fully vegan. They have vegan birria tacos, which is good, but not my favorite. My favorite was the Baja taco, that one right here, amazing, delicious. You're down to your last 20 bucks and your tummy is rumbling. Let me show you what you're getting. Punjabi Deli is a Lower East Side favorite where cab drivers and broke college kids could get a comfort meal for as little as six bucks. The smallest meal is two veggie dishes over rice, but there's also sides and sweets to choose from if you're feeling a little more peckish. And that's what's up. Save this video for all the vegan options at Smorgasburg. We ate till we couldn't eat anymore and dairy's still more on the list. Check the caption for a cheat sheet. You are welcome. I don't know what kind of sorcery Monk's Meats does to turn vegetables into this beautiful, majestic rack of ribs. But between that and the ghost pepper wings that I had last time at Smorgasburg, I am so impressed. If you ever see these guys at a pop-up or anything, then make your way to them because you will not be disappointed. Plantega brings plant-based foods to the everyday New Yorker. Through partnerships with established delis and bodegas, their mission is to make options accessible and familiar. And their menu reflects that. While I visited, I overheard regulars buying breakfast sandwiches, deli sandwiches, and even a chopped cheese. What started out as a concept launched in 2020 is now in 17 stores and will be in at least 40 by the end of the year. If you want to know my order, it was a chicken patty with lettuce, tomato, mayo on a roll. My favorite as a teenager. This little video is an ode to ATM Deli. I'm sure you've heard me talk about them before. They do an amazing bacon, egg, and cheese. And you might not be convinced because there's tofu inside, but they have this sauce that tastes exactly like egg yolk, and it ties the whole thing together, making it very nostalgic. Chinatown produce vendors are the closest thing my little kid self got to a farmer's market growing up, and especially in the summer, it's still the place to shop. The variety is seasonal and the prices are on point, just don't forget to bring cash. Jackfruit season just started, so this one was a little bit pricey, but nothing beats finding king oyster mushrooms for a dollar a pound. We usually just throw things in our backpacks for the subway ride home, and here's our little haul. Can I have a vegan chicken cutlet with lettuce, tomato, mayo on a roll, please? Okay. I haven't had one of these in eight years. I know it's such a simple sandwich, but it's so nostalgic. Okay, it looks so good. Shreddy lettuce is like essential for this sandwich. It's a very basic sandwich, so you have to do it right. You need a good amount of mayo, thin tomato, and shreddy lettuce. Oh, and crispy chicken, obviously. That's how you do it. My name is Ali. I was surprised by the uh, amount of people who are vegan. I was thinking that it will be 5% of people who are uh -huh. vegan, but it seems like 50% of people are vegan. Are you serious? Lot. Oh, yes. Really? Yes. It's... I'm surprised. I'm surprised too. No, seriously. I tried the chopped cheese from Plantega, and it tastes much better than the regular <laughs> chopped cheese. No, seriously. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. If it's a hot day at Smorgasburg, Fru Bay is exactly what you need. It's not shaved ice, it's pure shaved frozen fruit and he has so many tropical flavors, each more delicious than the last. Light, creamy, flaky, so, so, so good. Latest bagel obsession. Cream cheese, tomato, onion, capers on an onion bagel. Freaking amazing. What I eat in a day as a vegan who just eats whatever the heck she wants. Breakfast was jackfruit. This is one of my favorite fruits, but I was still hungry, so I ate these hummus wraps with vegetables. When I got to work, I snacked on this like little veggie sausage thing, and my brother also gave me a cheesecake brownie. Very sweet of him. Got home, didn't feel like doing lots of cooking, so I made cheesy spicy ramen. So spicy, but so good. And then for dessert, I had one of those little Trader Joe's non-dairy little ice cream cone things. That's it, goodbye. Debuted by Hormel in 1937, Spam or Spiced Ham is a canned lunch meat that found itself entrenched in Asian and Pacific Islander culture, among others. One of the first shelf-stable meats, one million pounds, were used to feed soldiers in World War II, and it was because of the war that it found its way to the Asian Pacific where it became a staple. In Hawaii especially, it became popular due to America's unjust restrictions on fishing for the locals. Now, it's a beloved ingredient in family traditions. Many foods have a deep history with emotional ties, and I love seeing brands like Omnipork make it easier to veganize 
nostalgic recipes. Hey guys, good morning. I'm stuck in traffic, so we're gonna be reviewing this Beyond Meat jerky teriyaki flavor. It looks like this. It looks it looks like meat. I mean, not to be a vegan, but it looks like meat, right? Oh, it's hard. But it's good. I like it. I have 10 grams of protein for this little bag. 90 calories. No soy and no gluten. Also no GMO, but you know, I'm a GMO fan. But for those of you with soy gluten allergies and you want jerky that's not dried mushroom, go get it. I made this cheesy spicy ramen dish a few days ago and y'all lost your goddamn minds, so here's the recipe. This ramen does not have any real chicken in it, you could check the back. Uh, I make it in a pot that is way too small for it, and then I add the regular packets that come with it, some Violife mozzarella cheese, earth balance, sesame seeds, and garlic that magnetizes to my fridge. Once the noodles are cooked, I drain them and I dump everything in. I usually only do like half the spicy packet because it's pretty spicy. And once you stir it long enough, the butter and the cheese melt and they come out like this, delicious. What I eat is a vegan who eats whatever the fuck she wants. We started the morning with some fried rice leftovers. It was actually pretty good, I, I disregard my face. Then I went to Terms of Endearment and I had a Spam sandwich. Really good, real meaty. Uh, the brand is called Omnipork that makes the Spam. Taste tested that new Baby Bell cheese. It was not good. Then I had hummus wraps with romaine lettuce and tomatoes. Also snacked on these little pepperoncinis on the side. The ripest, most delicious mango. And then I made like kind of like tuna melt sandwiches with some radishes, but I used chickpeas. It was my first time making something like this. It was an experiment. And this is my face when I realized that it was a roaring success. Delicious. Ended the night with these little ice cream cones and that's it. Goodbye. Vegan Grill is the new kid in St. Mark's, but Abdul has been serving vegan food out of delis in Brooklyn and the Bronx for a few years now. His menu ranges from breakfast sandwiches and burgers to crunch wraps and halal platters. And if you watch my stories on Instagram, you know I can't resist a late night vegan grill chicken sandwich. Get it with the mayo instead of the ranch and you'll thank me. If you're looking for a quick lunch or a nostalgic deli sandwich, it's definitely worth checking out. And look at the texture on these wings. These amazing plant-based chicken wings from Sundial Foods are made with chickpeas, and I just had the chance to try them at Orchard Grocer. I was so impressed by the shreddy texture and crispy skin, and they were so delicious with buffalo sauce and ranch. Not only are they yummy, but they're also packed with protein, which is right up my alley. So go check them out for yourself and let me know what you think. What I eat in a day is a vegan who eats whatever the fuck she wants. First off, I went to get brunch with a friend. We had pastries, this croissant was delicious, and so was this butterfly pea tea. Then driving to work, I had a big Tupperware of fruit. I didn't remember I was recording until halfway through, but there was also clementines and strawberries in there. At work, I snacked on this like meat jerky stick thing. Then I made the most glorious avocado toast I've ever seen. It was on Turkish bread with tomatoes and onions and seitan, this is the seitan that I used. I had a little sparkling water from San Pellegrino. And when I got back to my apartment, I made a delicious little cheese sauce for a delicious little mac and cheese. And that's it, good night. I was shooting at this deli one day and I was having so much trouble getting good shots of these sandwiches because the man making them was a machine. He moved so quickly that after a little while, I just decided to see how fast can he make a breakfast sandwich? We timed it and the answer was one minute. This man throws together a sandwich from start to finish in one minute. And we need to start appreciating our deli workers a little bit more because that's insane.